Hello my makeup loving friends. So today I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette with me today and we're going to do a one palette three looks which shouldn't be too difficult considering there's 25 colours in this particular palette. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to clip back my hair so you can see what it is that I'm doing. Not that you'll learn much but you know we'll, we'll do this together and see how we're going along. I have freshly cleaned my brushes so you know for once well not for once, I do it every two weeks or so, but there's something nice about having actually clean brushes, um, so I feel like I'm a real person again. I don't know what it is that I'm going to do, I'm making this up as I go along, as per usual, that is just the way that I do things. So I'm taking my Sigma E34 and I'm going into the shade D4, putting the glasses on the head as per usual, because you know, that's what I do. And I'm just gonna kind of etch out the sort of line that I want to follow with this. So yeah, there we go. I have the blue put down just to kind of give me an idea of ooh, the general what was I doing there? Of the, just to give you an idea of the general shape that I want to do with my eyes. Then I'm going into D5, yes. Do you know what? I really like that these pans don't have names, they just have numbers and letters. It just makes my life a lot easier so that I'm not having to go and squint and see what it is that I'm trying to pick up on my brush. I'm using the E34 again, so I'm just getting this black and I'm packing it on I literally have no idea what I'm doing guys like I this could end up terribly so I'm just packing it onto the outer corner here pack pack it took me forever to get into this room today because my cat Cece kept trying to run in but you see this is a guest room so I can't have her just like sitting on um on the beds and blankets because you know that's not nice for the guests um, and this is like my parents house as well so if it was my own house I wouldn't be quite so bothered but you know it's just a whole respect thing so I'm just following that general line that I had made with that blue I'm putting the black on top of it I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This could be a complete train wreck. But sure, look, lads, we're we're here together. Let's let's try this. I look like a raccoon. <laughs> Coon. Brilliant. I mean, why not? So now I want to get. What do I want to get? Do I want a diffuse crease? Oh, uh, who knows, guys? Who knows what it is that I'm looking for? Yeah, I'll use the diffused crease. So I'm taking the E38, which is the diffused crease. And I'm trying to open the palette again because I closed it. And I'm going in with the D4 again. So it's that same blue. And I'm going to pack it on top of where I put the blue, the black. I didn't put any foundation on today because when I was doing my first impressions video of this, there was a certain amount of fallout. I just thought to myself, oh my God, can I just make my life a little bit easier by not doing foundation first? And if there is any fallout, I can clean it up like before I put on my foundation. Cause like it kind of not annoyed me, but the fallout was pretty visible and it was purple. So it looked like I put blush in a really weird place. to get this blue to oh and just as I said that it actually decided it was going to turn up fantastic there we go why not now you've shown up to the party I just keep dipping in and just packing it in just to try and get that to go somewhere 
always blending. And I'm bringing it up above the crease because I think it just kind of opens up the eye a little bit more. For me anyways, I don't know what you guys find. Is there something that, is there any makeup tricks that you like or you find that works for you? Because this is, I don't even know if it necessarily works for me, it's just something I do. I would love to do a makeup course. Like, I'm hoping um, once I start my new job in Carlo that if there's any like makeup courses going on, like at the weekends or something that I could maybe sit in on those, maybe learn some tricks, that'd be nice. Because it's something I've been talking about doing for a long, long time and I'm like, I need to stop talking about doing it and actually do it. Yeah, good amount of like general fallout, but the black and the blue are, I think, blending quite nicely. Like, I think that looks quite pretty. Comparing this side to this side. <laughs> one looks, I mean, they both look fairly manic, but one is a little bit less manic now, I think, than the other one. I'm just bringing this down a little bit under the lash line. Are you surprised? I doubt it. Not if you've watched any of my previous videos, you're like, Teresa, you're always bringing things down under the lash line. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm predictable, you know? I don't have a lot of tools in my repertoire. I'm liking the mix of this blue and this black. It's very midnighty. I wanted to do something different with this palette. I didn't want to just do the, the purples. Not that there's anything wrong with the purples. Lord knows, I love purple. You don't buy the Norvina Pro Pigment palette and not love purple because <laughs> you're screwed. Like it's a very purple palette. Far more um, purple, I think, than her original, you know, the little, I say little, it's not little, it's their normal um, 14 pan palettes. That wasn't particularly purple. And I held off on buying that for a long time because I was like, oh, it's not very purple, it's a little bit plain. And then I got a voucher for Brian Thomas and I lost my mind and I was like, well, this is for me now. But I suppose, at least I'm kind of like, I kind of didn't spend my own money on it, so... Because I do like surveys and stuff online and you get like money towards vouchers. So that's really handy. That's why I have as much makeup as I do. <laughs> A whole chunk of them have been bought on like vouchers. Because I'm cheap. I don't have cash. I don't know. thought you'd appreciate a little bit of a song while we do makeup. <laughs> If I could sing, it'd be great, but like I can't, so there you go. So again, I'm just trying to mesh that blue shade with it. I think the two are blending really well together, in my opinion. Although again, I do have my glasses off, so <laughs> it could be like an absolute travesty. But you're like, look, whatever, it's grand lads, it's fine. Like, it'll be fine. Yeah, I like that. I think that is going well so far. The, the great thing about having clean brushes is you're like, oh my God, they look so nice. And now I'm like, no, well, like, I mean, I have my favorite mode of color switch, but you're like, oh no, now I've dirtied them again. And like, I'm bringing them to, to England with me, so. I don't want to use this taper blending. Maybe I want to use a Morphe. Do I? Yeah. I, I'm not that fond of Morphe brushes. Um, I'm using the Morphe... Well, there's no code as to what it is, but it looks like this, so it came as part of a set. And I'm going into... Oh, open this again. My life is so hard. Uh, I'm going into A5, which is this like really bright pink shade. Oh god, this could all go horribly wrong. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of pack it on top of this. Let's just see how this goes. Okay. Pray for Mojo. This isn't turning out awfully so far. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Are we okay? Ah! So stressful. 
I mean, it's not really stressful, like, I mean, it's just makeup, like, if all, like, it, if it's absolutely awful, you can always just take it off, like, you know, it's grand. I'm just trying to blend them together. This isn't blending quite as easily as the other colours, I think. Although, as I say that, it's kind of turning itself around. I'd say I'm gonna to have to go in with more of that blue shade. Just try and blend that a bit further. Cause you know me, I don't 100% know what it is that I'm doing. And by 100%, I mean like 0%, I do not know what I'm doing. Confidently guessing. I think I'm gonna to have to reach for um, an eyeshadow base soon as well, so. So I'm gonna use the same brush again, and I'm gonna dip back into that uh, D4 shade, so that blue again, just to go over. Packing it, and just meshing it with that, was it A5? Again, I'm really liking the, the letter number combination because it makes my life a lot easier when trying to figure out what shades it is that I'm talking about. For me, that's easier. I don't know what other people think. Do they? Pre do you prefer for your eyeshadows to have like whimsical names? Like, I mean, I like it with the whimsical names, but I'm finding with a big pal palette like this and for me doing videos like this, it's really handy that I can just look down and be like, oh, well that's that shade because it's this row and this column. So for me, it's handy. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm just trying to blend the two together. You know, just so it's a bit more seamless. Don't know if I'm necessarily achieving that, but like, I'm trying, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. I think that is looking pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna get my um, eyeshadow base, it's like a NYX one and I'll find it and I'll come back from my voyages with my NYX. So I'm just going to get, yeah I think I might use this, it's my Real Techniques, it's like a liner brush but I figure it's small enough and kind of precise enough that it should help me do what it is that I'm, I'm hoping to do. Don't laugh, you know I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying. Oh, I totally forgot to uh, prime and set my eyes before this. So, actually, that's something to note as well, guys. Just that I didn't do that, which is unusual. I usually would, but no, I just sat down with a, a completely bare face today because apparently that's what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna take that now, blend it with the finger. Yeah, okay, I think, are we getting somewhere? Are we? I don't know, what's happening? Ugh. I'm gonna go into the shade D2, which is like this periwinkly, shimmery blue. I don't know if I need a setting spray for this, but sure look. No, I don't, it's fine. Hooray! I'm just putting it along the edges there. I mean, that's looking nice. Oh! I actually really like that. This has come out way better than I thought it was going to. Am I getting better at makeup? I mean, it had to happen eventually, you know? If you watch the amount of YouTube makeup videos that I do, like it's an unhealthy um, love.
do they perfectly match? <laughs> no, no, they do not. Um, yeah, I need to get like another, just a little, little teeny tiny little brush. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't know what's wrong with me any day. I'm just going to use the Precision Firm Blender, which is the E42, and I'm going to go into that shade D4, the blue again. A very blue look. I'm here for it. I'm enjoying it. I just want to go into the, into here with it. I might actually take that D4 and D5, so the blue and the black, put them both on the same. Oh God, have I done, have I screwed this up completely? Possibly. Watch the train wreck unfurl before your very eyes. No, actually, that was actually okay. Who'd have thought it? Okay, this is not a complete disaster. This is semi-working. I'm as surprised as you are, you know? I'm going back in with my E55, which was what I was using to do the, the center of the eye. I don't know why I closed that eye as if it was gonna show you anything. Who knows? And I'm going to go back in with the D2 shade just to be sure it's completely there. Pack it back on. Back, back, back. I really like that shade. It's it's quite pretty. I'm just packing it on here as well. Also, it's really good that I <laughs> didn't bother priming and setting my lids beforehand because now we kind of have an idea of what it looks like and how it works on unprimed, unset lids. So, you know, good to know. This pleases me. So at this point, I'm basically done with my eye look bar, you know, maybe having to do a little bit under the lash line. But what I'm gonna do now is just finish off the rest of my face, you know, put on my foundation, blah, blah, blah. And I'll come back to you and yeah, you can see the finished look on this. So see you in a bit. Hello, my friends, I've returned. and I think I'm sufficiently made up, but I'm sure you've noticed I still have to do my under eyes so I figured it is something that we could maybe do together as a family uh, I don't know I'm in a weird I'm in a weird place so I'm just going into my um, e e42 precision firm blender should I clip up my fringe again I probably should so you can see what it is that I'm doing I'm going into the shade uh, ABC D D4 so much easier the way it's laid out like that uh, using my E42 and I'm just gonna just slowly packing it on the eye and just really really gently kind of blending it because I just I want it to be more blue under the lash line because the way that I've kind of blended the shadows on the actual eyelid it looks a lot more purple and I was going for something that I didn't want to be overly purple considering I was using the Norvina pigment pro palette which I'm sure you're like Teresa it's an Norvina pro pigment palette of course it's going to be purple well you know I wanted to do something a little bit different in fairness it's very easy to do a one palette three looks with this because there's so much variety in there I could have done like a one palette seven looks, but that would have taken me forever to film and the video would have been insanely long, you know? Like if you had gotten through watching it, I think you'd have deserved a prize at the end of it. Not that many people watch my videos, and if you do, I love you. You are a good person. Um, much appreciated. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly put a little bit more there. There we go. Be friends, guys, be friends. And I might put a little bit of the D5, the black, just coming down here just to give it that extra depth. Let's see how it all goes, you know? If you've watched me, you know I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just confidently bluffing. That's just how I go about life in general. I do think though that this might be the prettiest eyeshadow look I've ever done in my entire life. 
genuinely think this came out really really nice if you think otherwise fair enough you know that is your opinion and you are entitled to it but you are wrong um you don't hurt my feelings uh yeah i really like this i'm like oh a little bit obsessed with this actually this is a perfect like going out look I was showing it to my mum and she was like, oh yeah, you could wear that out. And she was, she was like, you couldn't wear it to work. And I'm like, oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're a lecturer. You can't, you can't lecture like this. And I'm like, mm, I have before in the past, <laughs> but okay, let's, uh, let's pretend I'm an adult. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to just very loosely kind of just blend it. Oh God, I love that Sigma came out with these smaller brushes because it makes like detail work like this a lot easier to do. I'm just going to pick up that D5 again, the black, and just put it into the corner there. A little bit more. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Yeah. I think that's come out quite nicely. Feel free to disagree, but you know, that does hurt my poor little feelings. And I'm, I'm so fragile. I'm going to use uh, the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Pencil in the shade Accuse. So it's like a blue for just the, the waterline. So I think that would look cute. I need to get more um, colorful eye pencils because I don't have that many. And I saw that NARS have a few, like they, they were announced a while ago and I'm like, hmm, intriguing. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of into it, you know? Like I saw they have like a yellow and they have a green called Grafton Street, which, you know, being Irish, I'm like, oh, oh my God, brilliant, fantastic. I mean, personally, I wouldn't have called it Grafton Street, I'd have called it something like Cliffs of Moher if you want to go for the Irish theme, but that's, that's just me. Oh, okay, let's see. What do you think? I think it's come out quite nicely. I'm gonna take down my fringe to give the full look. <laughs> fringe, what you doing? <laughs> do you like my weird noises? I don't, they're strange and rather unsettling. Uh, there we go. Yeah, what do you think of the whole thing put together? Apart from the whole random stray hair is going all over the place. I still have to get used to this fringe. I think it looks very, very good, in my opinion. <laughs> You're probably like, no, Teresa, this is awful. But yeah, so that is look number one. Uh, feel free to stay tuned if you want to see what other looks I make using this palette. So yeah, stay tuned. look number two now I swear I just have hair everywhere uh, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro pigment palette such a long title for a palette uh, I'm just gonna clip up my hair I have actually primed my eyelids today I forgot to do it yesterday and I have ended up with a certain amount of staining on my eyes that's not something I'm that bothered about but that's why they've called it a pigment palette rather than an eyeshadow palette so just you know if you're very uh, you know about having stained eyelids this may not be the one for you so I primed my eyelids but I didn't bother setting them I'm just trying to figure out exactly what it is that I'm going to do and what it is that I'm going to use I'm going to use my Dawn Utility so my Sigma E34 I'm going to try and open this and I'm going to go into the shade E5 which is a sort of a burgundy now I'm getting a certain amount of kick up on the pan with that nothing major we know that Anastasia Beverly Hills formulas tend to be a little bit more softly pressed than kind of a lot of other powders so I'm just kind of etching out the general line that I want to do with this so again using E5 I am loving the number um, letter combination it just makes my life a lot easier 
being completely blind and not knowing what it is that I'm looking for. This is very pigmented. This is coming up straight away. I'm liking this. Just gonna tap off some of the excess. I'm just outlining vaguely where I want to kind of go with this. I really loved my look from yesterday. Um, and I'm like, oh God, I can't make anything quite as nice as that again. I think that was a fluke. So, you know, if you have watched the first look and thought, oh, I could maybe learn something from this girl. Saws, um, there is nothing to be learned here. Move along, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a, a makeup novice. I don't know a lot about makeup, unfortunately. I just, uh, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. So again, just using that E5, I'm kind of tracing out where I want this to be. I, I genuinely, I don't know what it is that I'm doing with this, so, you know, bear with me. I'm gonna use one of the, I think, the smaller Sigma blending brushes, um, because, you know, they came out with that fabulous collection not that long ago, in July, and I have been, honest to God, just living for it. So I'm gonna use the E25 blending brush and I'm gonna go into that E, um, E5 e again so that it's a sort of um, an eggplanty shade, I suppose. It reminds me of an eggplant. Let me know what you guys think. What color do you think E5 is? I think it's eggplant. Slash maroony, I don't know. But I managed to do a non-purple look yesterday, which I was like, oh, who knew I could do a non-purple look using the North Vina palette? Well, you know, I'm sure lots of people were like, Teresa, entirely doable. Like, lots of people can do it. But yeah, I just want to do something a little bit, a little bit different. And just taking that and blending it ever so slightly. Just tapping it in first, just to try and press it in and then just very lightly blending it. The pigment is very good on this so far. I'm looking a little bit like a maroon raccoon, which I, just the phrase is funny because it rhymes. That's the level that I'm at today. You see, I'm in the midst of kind of packing things uh, here. So there is that, and I'm just trying to get this done in between because I want to have a few videos kind of filmed before I go, because when I get back to the UK, a considerable chunk of what I'll be doing is just packing up my entire house over in the UK and getting it ready to go over to Cardo. And even when I arrive in Cardo, I will be setting things up. So I wanted to have a few videos, not on the back burner, but just there that I could put stuff up because I want to keep putting things up and I don't want to get into the bad habit of like just posting once every so often. Um, I think at the moment I'm managing about three, three videos a week-ish, something like that. And I'm really happy with that now. Realistically, when I go back to work, it's probably going to be like maybe twice a week-ish, something like that. You know what? That'll be fine. I'll be grand with it. I'm going to use the E25 again, but I'm going to go in with another colour on top of that. I just haven't figured out which one yet. Uh, I'm going to go in with C4, which is a sort of a purpley colour. Because I'm doing a purple look today, so, you know, bear with me. And I'm just going to pop that on top of what is already there. The two of those, it doesn't seem like there's a huge amount of difference in terms of the colour. Maybe it's just me being blind, but I can't see a huge amount of a difference. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I missing something here? Have I... Have I missed something crucial? I probably have. Because you know, you know what I'm like. I miss things. I should have gone in with a lighter colour. Sure, look. Isn't that it, like? 
blending. Now I'll do the same with the other eye. Again, I'm going to use the E25 because I physically have it in my hand. And I'm going to go into the shade B1, which seems to be a lighter purple. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I am doing. It's my general battle call. I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's better. Yeah, because that's... I don't know why I closed the Norvina palette there. I'm having a weird day. I have, every time I sit down to film, I'm like, I'm having a weird day. Down to the point where it's like, Teresa, I think every day is a weird day for you. So I'm just packing that on. And I'm just gonna swirl it, blend it. I'm aware that I bring my eyeshadow up very high but that is my personal preference. You do not have to do that if you do not want to, obviously. Always blending. Yeah, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna go in with that white shade, the C1. Again, in with the E25. I literally just washed these like two days ago. And they're already filthy again. <sighs> I wish I had someone to clean my brushes. It would make my life so much easier. Just going in on top of that, the white. I really want to bring it in here. God, it is very pigmented, isn't it? not just me that is very that is a very pigmented white right like that's not me imagining things that is very pigmented wow <laughs> okay I'm I'm impressed that is a good white that is a damned good white I mean that has already changed the look immensely just by putting that in that's actually insane. How did it? That's insane. That's actually like a little bit insane as to the impact that that has had. Yeah, that is, that is intense, isn't it? Or am I, have I lost my mind? I think that looks pretty intense. I'm going to use the E35 tapered blending brush now and I'm going to go back into E5 which is what I considered a very eggplant shade and I'm just going in at the edge just to give a little bit more depth, tapping it on and just I'm going to swirl it, you know. I just want to put a little bit here just to into the crease. There. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, I'm liking these colours together. How many purples have I used? I'm happy with that so far. The next thing I'm going to do, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to try a cut crease. I have my NYX eyeshadow base in white and I have a Real Techniques. It's, a, it's essentially an eyeliner brush, but I figured it's small enough it should let me get a certain amount of precision. So I have the NYX eyeshadow base in Blanc, which is a white. Just trying to make sure I don't take up too much because that's when things go badly wrong. Oh God, this is all gonna go horribly wrong. What am I doing? I'm 
I'm taking the E55 Sigma eyeshading brush. I'm going into the shade C2, which is a gold, and I'm putting it here. I'm taking the E35 again and I'm going back into that E5 again because apparently I just kind of can't leave it alone and I'm popping it in to the corner again just because I want to blend it ever so slightly more. what I have there. I kind of feel like I want something on the inner corner so I'm going in with my finger because I'm gross into A1 which is that sort of a purpley pink thing and I just want to put it just there. Yeah okay so I'm essentially finished with that what I'm going to do is just clean up any of the excess because I didn't put any foundation on beforehand because I figured I think the first time when I was doing my first impressions video with this it kind of fell out so I figured it's highly pigmented best to do it without foundation on so I'm going to finish this off put foundation on etc and I'm going to come back I'll have lashes on but we'll do the lower lash line because you know I love a lower lash line. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I finished the rest of my face. I used the Velveteen's Lime Crime, um, what do you call it, lip pencil in the shade Pumpkin and the Urban Decay uh, Hitchhike Comfort Matte Lipstick. I think it looks really, really nice. I used the Natasha Denona Bronzer from the Duo, the Urban Decay uh, Sin Highlighter, and I used a Revlon um, kind of, no, not quad, quid, quid, quind, quin, whatever. Five piece blush, I just kind of meshed them all together and I think it looked pretty darn good. I used Eyelure Flower Ranger um, lashes. I think they look okay. I was actually looking at how all of this looks together and I think I won't bother doing an under lash line. I know, I know, who am I and what has happened to me, but I kind of think it looks okay as it is. So I want to just take off the glasses and you can kind of see what they look like there. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I'm just going to take down my fringe now so it looks a little bit more like me, or maybe it doesn't, who knows. Um, yeah, that is look number two. Uh, feel free to keep watching if you want to see look number three. we're on to look number three using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I am in England, just in case you're wondering what the story is with the change of venue. Let's just get straight into it because I started this and then it went wrong and it was a whole thing. So let's, let, let's just get into it. I am using a Morphe brush, unknown as to exactly what it is. It came in a pack. I know, unusual. I'm using a Morphe brush and I'm talking the crazy fist. I am going in with D3, which is a red, and I'm just gonna pop it straight onto the lid. I think that looks nice. I'm now going in with the D1, which is a yellow. I'm packing that partly on top of that and then partly just a little bit over, but mostly on top of the red. Sorry, I keep putting the mirror at strange angles, but that is my want. Just need to kind of blend that out, that's a very harsh bit of yellow there. Again, I don't want it to completely meet the eyebrows. My nose is so itchy. 
Jess, I am back in England. Um, I am back here just packing things, so that's a thing, I guess. Uh, just putting more yellow on top. So yeah, oh my god, it's so stressful. I was on a boat for a big chunk of yesterday and it was the most uncomfortable thing. And I drove. So basically I was um, either driving or in a boat for, the, for 12 hours yesterday. It was exhausting. So yeah, I think that's sufficiently blended. Going into D5, which is a black shade, and I'm just going to put it onto the lid. There we go, I think that's blended pretty well. Just cleaning it off again with the Vera Moda color switch. Going in with D3 again, the red. And I'm just gonna put it on top of that block. And just try and get the two to mesh. Get them to be friends. So I am going to now use, yeah, I'm going to use this, it's another Morphe brush, don't know who, what style it is. Oh, I'm really running through this uh, NYX eyeshadow base and I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it on the centre. I mean that's okay isn't it guys? That'll do. There we go. So that's fine. And then for the other eye, so again, oh, I have already, I put my project pan video up today. So you will know that my eyeshadow base is as a project pan and I wouldn't be surprised if I managed to pan it while I am here in England, which would be great. But it does mean I'm not gonna bring it back just to show that it's panned because I am moving. So you're just gonna have to take me at my word or I might, Take a picture just to show how much fit I actually managed to use it. But it is all gone. Well, it isn't all gone yet, but it will be soon, I'd say. If not here in England, then it won't be long till I get home. Yes, that is, that is fine. That will do. Like I said, if there was ever a catchphrase for me, it's that'll do. That'll do. I'm just going to pat that ever so slightly because I don't want to have very harsh lines. I am going to find some sort of brush here. Sorry, I don't know why I did a weird English accent. Um, I am using an Urban Decay, it says it's a shadow brush, so I'd say that'll be fine. Now, oh, I usually have my glasses on my head, but I didn't today. Oh Lord, kick up in the pan. Um, what do I want to do? I am going to use C2, it's a gold. So, yeah, I think it'll make sense for here. Bit of a halo eye. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm going to take just a clean brush. Oh, this might be a little bit too big though. Anyways, it's my Real Techniques brush. It's a clean brush, nothing's on it, and I just want to kind of mesh the two together a little bit more. I don't know why I whispered that. And just here. There. That looks a little bit more kind of gently dispersed. Sorry. Again, I might just clean it off again. Just to, so we're starting at the beginning. Just 
coil from side to side very gently. And then here. But yeah, I think that looks really well. Considering my limited skills. Uh, I want to go in with a taper blending brush. That's my E... Um, that's a diffused crease, but do you know what it'll do? It's an E38 and I'm going to go in with the D5, which is the black, just a tiny amount on the edge. You know how I am. I want to just deepen it ever so slightly. Okay, don't come for me. I know what I'm like. I know it. I know that about myself. Okay, so that is essentially it. I'm gonna finish off the rest of the look, put some lashes on, etc. And I'll come back and we'll possibly do the lower lash on. I finished the rest of my makeup. I also styled my hair, because like I said, I'm going out for dinner. Sorry, door keeps randomly opening. I'm assuming it's a ghost, natural assumption. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going out for dinner, so hence, no. Um, I used a lot of the stuff that I brought traveling with me I'm not sure if I haven't put that video up yet as I'm filming but I should have it up before this so I just used my take home uh, the bronze bronzer I used my uh, Colourpop uh, blush in prenup and I used my super shock shadow fire wherever it is that I put that and just my general foundations etc <laughs> hair everywhere um, in terms of lips then, I just used my Lime Crime, sorry there's things just uh, falling everywhere, Lime Crime Velveteen's Lip Liner Pencil in the shade, I think I want to say girl. Was I right? Was I right? Was I right? Yes, I was right. And my Dose of Colours Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Warm and Fuzzy. I tight lined using the black liner and used Demolition which is a brown on the waterline. So I just want to very, very quickly finish off the rest of this look because it's like 95% done. I am just gonna put my glasses on there as per usual. I want to go in with a sort of a purple now because, you know, I did it so far. I'm going in with shade A3 using my um, E30 pencil, okay? And I'm just going to very, very gently, but underneath the waterline. Okay, um, and then hair is getting everywhere. I just want to take my uh, diffuse crease, which is the E38, go in with D5 and A3 together, so just Two of them on the one brush and just pop it on the outside again just because you know what I'm like. I like a good like outer sort of uh, colour. And just bring it down ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm good with that. Oh, and I used um. Eye lower lashes in, I want to say, opulent. Let me check. No, bobble. Bobble. They're super cute because they're not, um, they're not wildly noticeable. Like, they're quite subtle. I wanted something a little bit more subtle for tonight. <laughs> she says with, like, a ton of eyeshadow on. So, yeah, that is it. That is the finished look. I'm going to let you have a better look how that came out so that is look number three keep watching if you want to see the review okay so we have done three looks using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 oh, quite quite a mouthful um, what do I think of this palette I love it I really I'm I was so on the fence Sorry, hair is always getting on top of me. I was so on the fence about getting this in the first place and I'm so glad I eventually caved. The pigmentation is amazing. I thought that because it was, it technically worked out a bit cheaper per eyeshadow because it's a 25 pan and it was 65 pounds. I thought it was gonna be 
less quality but no the quality is amazing i love that she has named each shadow uh, by the row and the corresponding column it makes it so much easier for me so, so that i'm not squinting down having to go oh what 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 shade is it noir is it tempera is it what i i love it and again I purposefully did two looks that weren't very purple because I wanted to see if Norvina could go beyond that and I th did this sort of a goldy reddy orangey slight purple look and a bluey purpley look and then I think the second look was a little bit more purple. It's super versatile. Um, I love the, the case on this, it isn't velvet like the last few so it's easier to keep clean. A little bit of fallout from the pants but we kind of know that from Anastasia Beverly Hills already. Uh, would I recommend it? Hells to the yes. Um, I give this out of 10 a 9.5. The only reason I'm knocking off the 0.5 is that it does have a little bit of fallout when you are applying it. So you're best to just put on your eyes before you do the rest of your makeup. To me, that isn't a major issue, but I know that some people, they like to do their eyes last. So if that's the case, you are going to be cleaning up a little bit of fallout, but absolutely fantastic if you like the look of this palette. I was originally very confused about the last two rows, but I have dipped into, oh gosh, I think like every color or at least most of the colors in that. And I found them really, really good. So yeah, so that's it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.